Hey guys, welcome back to Mayfield Ranch. I'm Katie. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I completely transformed this cabinet from the mess that it was to this super organized, super simple to find exactly what we want when we want it that'll work for Gary and I. If you want to see exactly how I did this, then stick around, watch this video, and I'll show you every single step in the process that I used to transform this pantry. Now, if you, like me, have really deep cabinets that it provides plenty of room, but it's difficult to get all the way to the back, then this is the perfect video for you because I will show you how I solved that problem. Hey guys, I'm in my car with all these containers. I got them all fit in here like we were playing Tetris. So I'll show you what we're gonna do with them when we get home. So I wanna reorganize my pantry. I have some cabinets that I use as a pantry space. So I wanna completely reorganize it so that it's more functional. You can see here, I went to Target and I purchased these clear containers. So I have 21 of this style here where there's an opening kind of in the front. And I have four of this style where it's like a completely closed bin with the exception of there's handles on all these. And I have three of this style and admittedly, this was a little bit of an impulse buy. They all stack together. So we'll see how we're gonna use these I only grabbed a few because I wasn't entirely sure what we were gonna do with them. So I'm just gonna show you guys the current mess that I have in my pantry right now. And we'll hang out together. I'll show you how I reorganize it. What I did a little bit different this time than I've done in the past, because I have made attempts to organize it in the past. I'll find something cute in the store and I'll say I like this. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna bring it home and try to organize with it. And sometimes that works okay, and sometimes I end up with things that don't properly fit, or it's not ideal, and it's still kind of a cluttery, organized mess, if you will. So my goal today is really get this pantry completely organized so it's useful. This might be a little bit of overkill, we'll see. I measured everything, so hopefully it'll all fit and it'll work for us. I'll share with you how that goes. We'll see if it works out or not. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all these clean, get the labels off, get them all washed and clean, and then we'll get going in the pantry. Okay, you guys, I am peeling this little label off the front here. It's coming off pretty easy. It'd probably be a little bit easier if I didn't have long nails, but it comes off pretty clean. So I'm just being careful with it. Oh, this has happened a couple times. So I just try to start from the other side. But for the most part, this label is actually coming off pretty clean. Now, I'll show you the label on the bottom. And if there's a little left, I'm just using the adhesive to try to get it up. So this one was not perfect. Actually, most of them have been coming off pretty clean, but I just wanted to show you in case you get this. So I'll take a little goo on and clean that up. Now this label on the bottom, I'll show it to you like this. This label on the bottom does not come off so clean. So as I start to peel it up, it's kind of cut here. So you have to peel it a couple different times. I've decided I'm just gonna leave these on because I wanna get this project done today and this is gonna take a long time if I've gotta clean Open it up. these cabinet doors and we're gonna get started. I'm just gonna pull everything out. So I'll show you what it looks like. I'll pull you in closer so you can actually see what it looks like. So this is a little embarrassing. It's not super organized, but this is the reality. This is what we're working with. So we're going to tackle it. So I'm just going to take everything out so we know what we've got and I can try to organize it, put everything back all like like items together. So just clearing everything out is the first step. Okay, let me show you where I kind of had attempted to organize previously. So I bought some containers and I tried to put some things in containers and this is a shared space. It's like got a medicine cabinet and kind of a pantry. Another organizing product. Some of this stuff just needs to go in the freezer. It shouldn't even be in the cabinet. Empty containers. So one of the goals I have is actually to really understand everything that we have here so that we can kind of go through it and use it. So much of it is just, just sitting on the shelf and we're not making use of it on a regular basis. 
Okay guys, I'm just grabbing everything else out of here. Now, this is gonna be probably in two parts because this cabinet is in the kitchen, so I use it as pantry, but on that side, there's a door and that's kind of like the medicine cabinet side. So we'll do part one, and if you're interested, I'll show you part two on that side. So you guys can see here that these cabinets are pretty deep, so they do hold quite a bit, but I have a challenge like getting anything out of the back. So I think these containers are gonna really help me out with that. Just gonna kind of dust everything off. There is some paper in here, it's kind of stuck on. I'm just gonna leave it, I don't care about that. That was here when we bought the house. dusty so I'm trying to clean that up as much as I can and I'll get this one out. and I actually need to still tackle the bottom so I guess I'll do that too I'm probably not gonna pull everything out of the bottom like the rice so we have rice and beans in these five gallon buckets it's kind of like emergency. We don't even use this very often. I'm not gonna pull that out, it fits in there. But I'm gonna take some other things out just so I know what we have and I know where everything's gonna go back. So we'll grab everything else. Now this stuff over here is kind of medicine cabinet stuff, so I'm not gonna bother that. But I'm gonna pull out any of the food items. So I keep saying medicine cabinet, but I guess really what that is, is it's a place where we keep all of our shampoos, deodorants, things like that. Stuff that you might use in the bathroom, lotions, medicines. So if you're interested in seeing kind of part two of that side of the cabinet, let me know in the comments below and I'll share that with you guys if you wanna see it. is actually working for me just fine. There's some baking stuff in here. It's all in this basket. I pull this entire basket out. If I wanna bake anything like cakes, cookies, decorations, all that kind of stuff is in here, food coloring, some extracts that I don't use very much. So all that's in here. I have a little sure gel on top in case I'm gonna can anything. So I'm gonna leave that. We've got coconut, sugar, flour. We don't use this very often, but it's handy. And I'll move this and you can see what's behind it. So there's space back here for the KitchenAid. So I've got a KitchenAid back there. I actually have a second one. So it's on the counter. I'm gonna put it away. And there's a few things of shortening, which again, I don't use very frequently, but this is all like kind of sweet baking stuff. So I'm not gonna change this shelf around. This works well for me right now. What I am gonna do, I'm gonna move this out of the way so that I can put my KitchenAid back where it goes and hopefully get everything in here looking good. We don't keep, my flour's almost gone. We don't keep a lot of flour. So I showed you the five gallon buckets. We have five gallon buckets of rice, beans. I think we even have one of sugar, but I don't have one of flour. We keep our flour in the freezer and we don't use it very frequently. I don't have a ton of flour because I don't want to dedicate that much space in the freezer. The rice and beans is kind of like emergency stock if we ever needed it. Oh, you found all our peanut butter. I've been looking for that. I've been buying it, but we got, looks like we're stocked up on it. So maybe we keep this out, my tuna and my chicken. I'll eat a lot of that. So. Okay, thanks for your guidance, babe. Go enjoy your snacky. Want some? No. Oh, okay.
Okay, so I got a little bit of powdered sugar, coconut, regular sugar, a tiny little bit of flour. We actually have a lot of almond flour in the other cabinet. I'll show you guys that. So we're ready to start pulling this thing back up as soon as we sort everything out. So let me show you what we've got going on over here. We'll try to sort it out. So this is everything out on the table, out on the island here. You can really see it all, and it sure is a lot of stuff. So we've got to get this kind of sorted so we have like items together so we can get it organized. Okay, we have a ridiculous amount of peanut butter. So clearly, I have bought peanut butter uh, in bulk and continue to buy it because we don't know we have it. Um, Kind of looks like the same thing with jelly. So we have a bunch of sugar-free jelly that we probably didn't know was in here. I couldn't remember was in here. So I'm gonna try to put all this together. We have a bunch of stuff that I've canned. So a bunch of pomegranate jelly. That's one of our favorites, but we don't eat it very frequently. So I got a ton of it here. Uh, some little jars, some bigger jars. So all this is pomegranate jelly. Then we have some stuff that's been gifted to us. A couple of plum jellies. And I think that's plum too. I can't remember what this is. Also another gift to us. I've got a few things of baker's chocolate. So I'm going to try to just get this organized, put things together, and then we'll come back. So we tend to buy things in bulk and we buy things when they're on sale. So that's good. I mean, it helps us save money over time. But what we're not really good at is like making sure that we're buying things we're going to use on a frequent basis. We kind of stock up on stuff and then it just sits there for a long time. So one of my goals is to actually get through some of this stuff, use it, make use of it, get it out of the cabinets because I want more space for actually items that we're going to be canning over the next garden season. So that's important to me. We want to make sure that we get through some of this stuff. And the only way to do it is to know exactly what we have and just really start using, start cooking with it. So that's one of the objectives. I want to make more space and have home canned items that we're going to cook with and use in our meal prep. One of the other things I'd like to accomplish is just to try to get all of like the snack items or like quick items right in front where it's easy to see them, it's easy to access them. And that way Gary's able to find things. If he's looking for one of his snacks, it's right in the front and it's just easier and more useful for the way that we use our pantry. So hopefully I'm able to accomplish that by putting all these like items together and then using these storage bins just to make it easy to access things we access on like a regular basis and then also be able to pull them out of the front so we can access the back of the cabinet too. Got everything kind of semi-organized. So now we just have to figure out how we're gonna put it all back. Okay, things that we don't use very often, I wanna put on the bottom and I'm gonna put in the back. So I'm gonna start out by putting like all these bulk spices. I have a spice cabinet where we have stuff we're using. Apparently, I just thought it was necessary to buy a ridiculous amount of extra stuff. So let's get that in this container. Okay, so I've got a couple things of pink salt. Uh, black pepper, cumin. We use a lot of cumin, so I've got two of those. We use a ton of garlic, and I haven't actually been super successful at growing my own garlic, so we use a bunch of this garlic powder that I buy from Sam's Club. I've got some granulated onion. I just have one of those. I am actually doing pretty good at doing our own dehydrated onion using dehydrated onions or dehydrated onion powder. I have some cornstarch some curry powder. Actually, I'll put the brown gravy in here because it's the same size. So this container's full. We got one down. I don't know, 20 more to go. I'm just making a little space so I can start my next container and then we can get kind of stacking them in there, see how we want to organize them in there. So the next one I'm going to do is actually going to be pretty similar stuff. Um, I've got this bouillon and I'm going to put these powder. So I have like cheese powder. I bought this really just kind of for emergency stocks. I don't really use it. Same thing with this heavy cream powder. Um, I bought it, another one. Apparently I needed two of something that we don't really use much. 
Um, I can use it in my coffee and stuff like that if I want to. So I'm sticking that in here. See what else I can put in here to kind of fill up this with like items. Oh, I know what I can put in there. So I've got a bunch of baking chocolate. I'm gonna put that in here. With it. It's again, it's something we don't access very often. I was putting this in my coffee and I haven't really been doing that recently because I've been using Perfect Keto Collagen Powder. But I wanna hang on to this because I could definitely use it again. It's good in my coffee. See if we can kind of jam it in here. Perfect, okay, so that fits. I think we'll lay this down. One cube, so this will go on the bottom, this will go on the top, we'll stick it in there. Okay, so one thing we have a ton of is like pudding and jello, sugar-free pudding, sugar-free jello. So I'm gonna try to stick that in one of these and we'll see how it goes. I have it in these little containers. It doesn't need to be, um, but we, this is one of those things I'm super guilty of not knowing if we have any, so I just buy more. Gary likes it. It's something that I can, I'm sure it's not good for you, but it's sugar-free. We can use it, um, trying to stick to keto. So we have a bunch of it. So I'll try to organize it just by flavor and throw it in here. I don't know if I can get it to all fit in the same box or not, so we'll see how it goes here. So we ended up with a bunch of little boxes of sugar-free pudding. I had done a Walmart pickup and tried to order, I guess, the bigger serving size box. And they substituted it. They were out of those. So we ended up getting just a ton of chocolate, white chocolate, vanilla of these tiny boxes. So it works. We got plenty for snacks. Okay, so we're going to be able to fit it all in one container here. So I got a bunch of chocolate. So we'll stack that up. One of these is chocolate fudge. Close enough. You can go in there with that. Actually just gonna stack the taller ones towards the back because we have more of these so we have a bunch of white chocolate and we have a bunch of chocolate stick that towards the back with quite a bit of vanilla um, a few of these cheesecakes just stick that there one of these banana creams so a bunch of chocolates and then some different jellos oops here's another chocolate Orange jello, some strawberry jello, some cherry, some raspberry, um, more cherry. So we'll stick that in here. Okay, so there's our pudding and our jello. We have a bunch of that. And then we have these. Um, they're kind of like keto. I don't even really know how perfectly keto they are, but they're they're less sugar than if you were to just make cookies. So I'm gonna stick that in here because we do want to be able to get it. So we've got some chocolate chip cookies, some chocolate cake, more chocolate chip cookies, more chocolate chip cookies, more chocolate chip cookies. We tried these before. I don't know if which ones we tried. I know we tried like a vanilla cake. It's okay. It's about like what you could make if you look up some keto recipes. And I'm just gonna throw these white cake mixes in here. I don't know when we're gonna use them. Typically, I'd stick this in the freezer. For now, I'm gonna put it in here. And we'll put this in the cabinet.
I'm just gonna set it in here for now. This is something I wanna have kind of towards the front. It's something we're gonna wanna access pretty regularly. So I'll figure out how we're gonna put everything else in here. Okay, another snack item that we access pretty regularly, or at least Gary does, is popcorn. So I'm going to try, see if I can fit it all in one. We have a bunch of half open containers here. So I'm sure we'll be able to do that. And then that way he'll see it. And I'll know how much we have too, because I think I'm part of the problem. I won't know if we have any, so I'll buy more. Because I know he likes to have it. So we'll open all these and get them in here. We have this whole box in there. There's only two left. And we had like two boxes open. And then one more full box. So I'm just gonna go and open it, put it in here so I can throw away some of this extra cardboard. We have a variety, so this is some double butter popcorn. So put that in here too. This is I can tell this is something he bought. <laughs> Because he bought small boxes. If I'm going to buy it, I always buy like one big container of it. So he also probably didn't know if we had any. He wanted to make sure. Okay, so we got quite a bit of popcorn in here. So I got one more container ready to put in. Okay, next I think I'm going to tackle the coffee. So we really like this Pete's coffee. We've been getting it at Sam's. So it comes in this big box. So there's not that many left in here. So I'm just going to fill up our little Keurig spinner and see if I can get rid of this box. So Gary drinks, actually I, I drink it too. We both like this Pete's coffee. So we're drinking this every day, especially right now <laughs> during $50 February. I can't go to Starbucks. Well, I can't and stick to the plan. So uh, I'm definitely drinking this Pete's coffee every day. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna be able to fit all this in here. Perfect. Magic. Okay, there's a couple spots left, so I'm gonna grab a couple other just to fill it up. And one more box we can get rid of. So this French vanilla stuff and the hot chocolate, we actually only, Gary and I don't even drink this. We keep it here when the kids come over, that way they can have something. Oh, they love the hot chocolate, but I think I'm gonna get rid of the French vanilla. We just don't drink it. It's good, it's just full of sugar, so there's nothing wrong with it. We're just trying to avoid having all the sugar. Now this macadamia nut coffee is so good. If you guys haven't tried it, Gloria Jean's macadamia nut coffee, it's super good. I think I got it on Amazon. I don't have much left, I bought a few boxes. Uh, okay, so this thing is full. So I'm going to set this back over by the coffee and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the rest of it. Okay, so I think this might end up being a perfect use for this little slim container here. And we'll be able to see what we've got. We'll see if I'll keep this like this or not. I'm not sure. It's not a great use of space because it's only like a third of the way full. And I think we have one more full box of coffee. Okay. Okay, guys, I changed my mind just a tiny bit. I am 
I like the way this fits because I can stack the other one on top of it. So I'm just going to pull out the, coffee, the kind of specialty coffees that we don't drink every day. And I'm going to put them in here, and I'm also going to pull out the hot chocolate. When the kids come over, I can just grab it out of the cabinet instead of our spinner. And then that way I can put more of this coffee into our spinner, and we're kind of going to be set up. I've got a couple teas. Okay, so this is not full. But we're utilizing the space just a little bit more. So this is our second favorite coffee, this Colombian Supreme coffee. Also, we're getting that from Sam's. We just like the Pete's a little bit better. So we started buying Pete's. This one's just a leftover box. So we're gonna use it up. But in the future, I'll just buy the Pete's as long as it's available. this box is still pretty full if there were just a few I just put them in there but since this is full I'm just gonna put it back in the cabinet so I have the rice I actually pushed it to the back I've got a case of Prosecco I don't drink that as often as I'd like to so anyways that's back there in case we ever need it you hey guys I played a little Tetris down here but I've got all kinds of stuff here so we've got peanut butter and then sauces like mayo ketchup mustard barbecue sauce some spaghetti sauce some salsa over here should be able to see everything. I'm gonna stick the coffee on top of it and the Splenda. Okay, so not super perfect, but we get the coffee, we access the coffee quite a bit. So that way we can get that and still see what's there. And now I gotta just tackle the rest. So I'm gonna use one of these little trays for some of the smaller jellies. So I made a bunch of pomegranate jelly I actually made it to give it away, but the citrus flavor is a little bit strong, so I didn't end up giving this away. So we have a bunch of pomegranate jelly here in these tiny containers. And we were gifted a bunch of these jellies from Lisa over with uh, Jesse and Lisa, Lazy Days Ahead. So if you haven't seen their channel, check them out. So we have a bunch of these. And then we were also gifted this one, some fig jelly. So I'm gonna set this in the cabinet I think this will fit perfectly. We're gonna just stack it on top because these jars are a little bit taller than this, but this way, nothing has to be stacked on top of them. So this works perfect. Okay, this side was kind of organized, but I've shoved some things in here. So it's not as organized as I had it previously. So I wanna pull some stuff out, just make sure between both sides, everything's super organized. I have a bunch of stuff in the back here that's just kind of like, just extras. Stuff that's like, we don't use every day, just extra stuff back here. Most of the dry goods are up in here. So I'm glad I pulled this out because there's more sauce here that I didn't remember. So there's more barbecue sauce and I just want to make sure I put everything together. Okay, there's a bunch of beans, pasta. Let me show you. Okay, let me show you guys what I have up here. So there's a bunch of spaghetti back there. Then there's lasagna noodles right here dry beans and a couple extra things of mashed potatoes. I have a thing of sugar. So that's back there. I have this oil. I really don't want to use that kind, but we have it, so it's here. So I put this little riser shelf back up in here. I got the almond flour, pumpkin seeds, so I can stack the oil, and that way I can put the tuna right under it. So I like the way that that looks. I want to put any items that we might take for lunches, like right up front, so it's super easy to just prep your lunches. And Gary could grab snacks or tuna, chicken, whatever he wants to take with him for lunch that day. 
So I have a few containers of oatmeal, so I wanna put it in these plastic containers. I use this often to make treats for the dogs. So I do that a lot. Um, Luke has to take some allergy medicine, so it's handy to have something for him. So I have plenty of this oatmeal. I'm gonna actually put it in two containers so I can get rid of all these little flimsy cardboard containers. To pull this stuff out so we can see what's back there. Um, this is pretty organized and it's easy enough for me. I could just pull this out, set it on the counter, and then grab the stuff since this is such a deep cabinet. Empty container. But for the most part, I know what's back here. So some instant potatoes, all these alternative sugar alternatives for keto. Kind of more of more of that back here. It's all labeled. So here I have a bunch of teas. So I'll pull this out. There's probably a room to organize this a little bit better. Green beans should not be here. I have a container I can put these in. Some wine that won't fit in our wine rack. Okay guys, this is probably my favorite shelf. So let me tell you everything that's in here. There's elbow macaroni and then just other noodles like salad noodles, salad noodles, brown rice, quinoa. I've got some brown sugar, powdered sugar. There's a container for cream of wheat, we're out of that. And then there's some brown swerve, we're out of that. But the containers go there. Now on this side in the back, there's sunflower seeds. There's some rice here, corn flour, psyllium husk. And then I have some alternative sugars and things like that for like keto baking um some fibers and stuff like that that we can use to make like bread like keto bread so i kind of put that in here sideways monk fruits were and then i have this here just so i can access some things from the bottom we'll go ahead and start putting some other things in i have some chia seed that i put in there and then some cornmeal Try to fit everything here. I have some oats that just didn't fit in the other container. I'll put that right back here. And then I have some more psyllium husk that goes there. I use that for baking uh, keto bread or keto sweetener. So I'm gonna set this up here. It's just some allulose. I don't actually have a container for it. Some xanthian gum. I'll put it there. Dehydrated potatoes. So all I do is I just cut the instructions and it off the box, put it on the back, and put it in here. And then on the top shelf, we have extra, but put that back there. Okay, let me show you. I have some clear um, plastic containers, so let me show you what I have in here. Some brown rice, some kidney beans, some more flaxseed meal, um, whole wheat spaghetti, some organic green lentil lasagna noodles. So I'm just gonna set this back in here, um, some green peas. So I don't have this in containers, it's just kind of loose, so I'm gonna put it in here. And I'll I have two other clear containers like this that we're gonna put on that shelf. So let me show you what's in those. Okay, some tea, I have green tea. So a couple things of green tea, uh, more green tea just kind of stuck in here, and then some Lipton's tea container with a bunch of different teas. So flavored tea, some mint tea, um, medicinal tea like dandelion tea, um, flavored drinks, just like some sugar-free great drinks. I have a bunch of teas in here. So a bunch of varieties, all kinds. So I have this in here. 
and I just pull out of that each day some mint tea here. So I'll stack these up, we'll put them right back. Okay, so this just sits like this. I can put some stuff under here. So more keto baking. Uh, this is kind of <laughs> rubbed off, but this is coconut flour, almond flour, and powdered swerve. So all of our baking, like keto stuff, is pretty much right in here. Drinks, teas. So this is an area we access a lot, and it's easy for me to just pull the stack out, get to the back, pull the stack out, get to the back. So this has been working pretty well. This has probably stayed the most organized of the entire pantry. Okay, you guys, we're getting there. So I just need to kind of organize this. Some things have gotten shoved kind of back here, just gotten pushed in. So this is a little bit disorganized. So if you can see in the very back, I just have empty jars. So I can use those if I want to can anything, but those are just in the very back. That works perfect. Got these artichoke hearts. There's another one. A couple things I've canned. Some corn. So I just want to try to put everything together. There's some corn down here. So this is pozole that I actually pressure canned. So we've got that. This is some chicken soup. In fact, we made this together. So if you guys wanna see how I made this, I'll leave a link in the description box below, but this is really good. And I like having it on hand. So I did pressure can this. I like having it on hand in case anybody's sick. So it's really simple to just have this. It's pretty easy to make fresh too. So I've got some green beans, put those here. And then, so I guess I'll go ahead and just take the corn down, we'll put the corn down here on another, another row. There's one more thing of green beans. And then I've got some pumpkin that I pressure canned also. So we'll put that here. And then I have more jars. Let me, let me bring you down so you guys can see this next shelf and we'll tackle it. Remove this chicken, because I want to put this in the front where it's easy for us to see grab. And I have more empty jars in the back there. This is taco sauce. There's some taco sauce here, but mostly it's pumpkin. And then some canned cheddar cheese. We almost never use that, so it's kind of just there. What else is here? A bunch of random stuff. Some tuna, um, peppers, pizza sauce, garbanzo beans. So some random stuff we don't have a lot of. So let me try to organize that a little bit. We'll make it work. I'm not going to change a whole lot here because this is kind of random stuff. So I'm just going to try to make it to where we could see what it is. Some enchilada sauce back there. Green chilies, mixed veggies. Stack it in there. Um, I'll set that back up on a different shelf. Okay, so I'm gonna put some more vegetables in here. We don't have a lot of any one thing. Jeff olives. I can set that in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put the chicken broth right here because there's a little space for it. So set it right there, and then we need to tackle the bottom shelf. Okay, the bottom, we've got some big cans of like garbanzo beans, hominy, things like that. I'm gonna make pozole, random soup. Uh, okay, cream mushroom soup, so let's try to stack that up, keep it together. There's a little bit of chicken noodle soup. Oh, we got some tomato soup. Gary likes this stuff here. Dog here. Oh, this doesn't stack very good. 
unfortunately. <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll lay it down. Let me get back in here. I have one thing of pickles. And I have a bunch of applesauce. So this is no sugar added applesauce. This is actually for the donkeys in case I have to give them medicine. So that's in the very back. I'm gonna keep it in the very back because I know where it is. More tomato soup. Just gonna put this random one over here. I have some diced tomatoes, so I'll set those here. And I don't have a great spot for it, but I have this coconut milk and coconut cream, so I'm just gonna set it in here. And I've got some Alfredo sauce. I'm just gonna set it right here on the side. There's room for it. And then I have a few just kind of random things. So I've got some orange sauce, if we make like orange chicken. And then if we make kind of stir fry or Chinese food, I've got some spicy Szechuan sauce. So I'm just gonna put that here so we can see it. There's not a ton of room. Okay, so I think we've got this organized pretty well. Everything that we use frequently is towards the front. I definitely wanna go through some of this food so we make more room for home canned products. So you guys can see back there, I actually have some clear containers that are empty. I don't have anything for them, but we've got all the snacks here in the front. And I do plan on the ones to the left there, kind of the medicine cabinet or bathroom storage side to do that later. So if you wanna see that, let me know. And then this spinner I put in here has a bunch of dried or dehydrated items that we use a lot, all from our garden this season. So pretty happy to have that in there. Super easy to access and see what we have. And I'm just putting in a bunch of salad dressings and sauces here next to it. Okay, let's check out the finished product here and see what it looks like. All right, you guys, if you're still with me at this point in the video, then be sure you're subscribed so you can see more videos about life here on our farm. I share videos about food preservation, our animals, and certainly gardening. So I'd love to have you as a subscriber and be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think of this video. See you guys next time.